No, we're not talking about trees here. We're talking about timbre. Timbre is the character of a sound or voice. Timbre is also referred to as tone color or tone quality. Timbre is the way you can tell the difference between your grandma and your girlfriend on the phone, or between the voices of cartoon characters when your cat is walking in front of the TV. In the cartoon South Park, we can clearly distinguish between the four boys' voices because of their distinct qualities. Similarly, Family Guy's Brian and Stewie are easily identified from one another, even though they are voiced by the same actor. Why is this? How can an instrument or voice change timbre? How do composers use timbre to express their ideas? Physically, when an instrument or voice sounds, it creates vibration. This vibration has a particular frequency, which means the amount of repeated sound waves produced in one second. The frequencies produced by an instrument or voice create its timbre. Because each instrument or voice vibrates slightly differently, each produces different frequencies. This is how our ears can tell one from another. One can determine the shape and oscillation of the sound waves with pretty graphs and extraordinarily complex mathematical calculations of time, pressure, and space, but we'll leave that for the physics department. Most instruments and voices actually produce a series of frequencies, which together are called overtones, or more specifically, the harmonic series. Each instrument or voice has its own set of overtones, and the combination of these sound waves give the instrument or voice its characteristic sound. Whether it's a professional violinist drawing the bow across the strings, a beginner band student crashing cymbals together, or even a fork hitting the floor in a busy restaurant, the specific harmonic frequencies hit our ears and we are able to identify the sound almost instantly. But how can we describe the character of what we're hearing? Tone color can be described in many ways. In a previous example, you thought about the ways the South Park characters sound different. The tone quality of Eric Cartman's voice could be described as raspy, harsh, distorted, nasal, while the voice of Stan Marsh could be described as clear and clean. Brian's voice on Family Guy could be described as warm, resonant, and thick, where Stewie's voice is breathy and light. Instruments in the orchestra can be described the same way. When we hear a violin, the timbre is different from that of a trumpet. We might say that the trumpet sounds brassy or bright where the violin could be described as light and delicate. We can even make distinctions between instruments of the same family. A flute might sound clear, round, and light, while the oboe would sound nasal, pointed, or piercing. A trombone might sound round, bright, and metallic, while the French horn sounds dark, thick, and warm. It is important to note that pitch, rhythm, and volume are separate from timbre. These aspects are important to music, but they are measured differently. Even when playing the same pitch and volume, we can tell the instruments apart based on the character of their sound. When listening carefully, you can even tell two of the same instrument apart just based on the slight differences heard in their particular harmonic makeup of timbre. Listen to these two clips of guitar. Mm -hmm. 